we're introducing Ad Studio Beta, a major product update for a faster and more streamlined design process. Stick around as we'll also be exploring your new AI design co-pilot. Okay, we understand that change can be daunting. No worries, we're here to walk you through the differences between our legacy apps and the new Ad Studio to make the transition as seamless as possible. Let's dive into the evolution of our design process. We had what will soon become the old editor, a familiar interface for all of you. Here, designers began with one size, adjusted it for all references sizes, and then navigated between the editor and the generator. However, this approach had its challenges. The editor and generator are actually two separate apps with different user experiences. The biggest pain? Editing the main sizes, square, vertical, and horizontal was a one-time deal, hindering flexibility. Recognizing the need for a smoother workflow, we took care of it, and this is your guided tour of the new Ad Studio. Let's kick things off by selecting a display set, crafting a design from scratch, and making it yours. The first thing you'll notice is that we divided the stage into three distinct layout orientation. In the upper part of the stage, you'll find what we'll further refer to as mains – square, vertical, and horizontal. We can't stress it enough. Nailing those three main layouts will make your life so much easier, in terms of design process at least. We're still rooting for starting from a square-like design. Once you're happy with your design, simply click the arrow next to the leftmost main size and the designs will be generated for the other two main sizes. Fine-tune the elements on the main layout for each orientation and use the arrows below to seamlessly push to the corresponding secondaries. Further adjustments at this point should be minimal. Similar to pushing designs among main layouts, there are multiple options available. Elements and properties, which generate the entire design seamlessly. Only style, that applies style without altering element position and only animation integrating animations without interfering with the element positions. Let's assume you want to add another size. All you have to do is select it from the Sizes menu and see how it is automatically generated and already populated with the design elements. Now let's see how you can animate designs in the new Ad Studio. Let's enter into Focus Mode. This mode enables you to isolate and work on a single size. Okay. To access it, you can double-click anywhere inside the layout or click on its name. Once in focus mode, find the timeline at the bottom of the left sidebar. Here you can animate every layer separately with custom animations or presets, adjust animation duration or rearrange layers. Okay, now let's go back to All Layouts mode and push the animation to all sizes. Now, let's get a more granular view of the editing experience and design capabilities. Let's take a quick trip down the memory lane to the old editor and its properties bar. It was bulky, often tricky to navigate and sometimes obscured the design or got lost beneath the timeline. But that's history. Now on the right side you'll find a more familiar designer-focused styling and editing experience. Depending on the selected element, the properties bar displays relevant options. When working with multiple layouts, you can adjust properties across all specific layouts simultaneously. So all the changes you make in this mode will be reflected on all layouts. The layout selector allows you to filter various orientations. Use it to effortlessly filter only the desired layouts and make adjustments exclusively on these. Moving on, we're excited to introduce our AI tools in the new Ad Studio. Think of it as your design co-pilot, ready to assist with text and image capabilities. How it works? When selecting text layer, you'll find create AI on the right side of the properties bar. Here, you can improve your existing text by fixing grammar or spelling, twitching the size or adjusting the tone of voice. You can also generate text variations or translate into different languages. 
arguably the coolest part, Creative AI can help you edit your own images by generating variants based on your prompt or enhance image quality. Alternatively, you can generate new images with a simple text prompt. You're probably familiar with the concept of AI text to image by now. That's a wrap on our guided tour of the new Creative P Ad Studio. We've made sure to keep what you love while introducing powerful new features. Get started with the new Ad Studio today. Your feedback is super important in shaping Creative P. Take it for a spin and let us know what you think. See you around.